Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, with the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer from Nine Locks. Today's Nine Locks beer is Frig Off. Frig Off is an East Coast IPA. 30 IBU and 6.7% alcohol by volume. Frig Off. I like Fuck Off. Better than Frig Off, but hey. Yeah, I know you gotta be you gotta be PG. I mean, you might have a kid come into your brewery, and you, you need to be PG. Fuck off! It sounds so much better than frig off. But I mean, I, I get frig off. I get it. That was my bad on the aggressive pour. Frig off, okay? Frig off with your bitchiness about my aggressive. Fuck. Hey, he's crazy. Golden color, slight off white head, nice snap crackle pop, lots of bubbles, scent. That's ooh yeah, tangerine, lemon, tangerine, lemon, pine. Just this huge resininess, just off the nostrils, just digging in in there. Cheers, let's try it. My dogs are fighting right outside the door. It's always good. Mm. Okay, so when I think of an East Coast IPA, I do think bitter. I do think piney. I do think somewhat stringently syrupy sweet. Um, I'm getting all that on this. That being said, there is some nice fruitiness on here. It's still not my, really my thing. I'm not a big East Coast IPA guy. I'm more a West Coast IPA guy when it comes to IPAs. Uh, West Coast, some New England IPAs. That type. I like juicy. I like juicy and fruity. The um, the piney, bitter stuff, not really for me. And that's that's perfectly fine. It's it's for a lot of people. There's a lot of beers that aren't for those people that are for me. So I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I get it. If you like bitter, if you like, if you're from Ontario and you like the quintessential Ontario pale ales, Frig Off is for you. If you're from the East Coast and you like the East Coast pale ales, Frig Off is for you because it really is a proper East Coast pale ale. I can't take that away from it. Stylistically, it is an East Coast pale ale. I just don't particularly love it. Out of 10, I'd give it a 6. I could drink it. I just wouldn't want to buy it. Thanks, Ron. Bye, guys.